Hello, Pokemon fans! I'm Professor K from the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and today we have another Top Deck Crate Pokemon subscription crate. You guys can check them out at topdeckcrates.com. There's also some links in the description down below. If you don't feel like typing, you can scroll down and just click that right there. This is a really awesome subscription service that we really do enjoy a lot. Matter of fact, it is one of the only ones left that we really truly believe in. Uh, Top Deck Crates has been really, really good, and they deliver on the promise of the product that they uh, advertise in the first place so very highly recommended and if you guys recall we had our last one where we mentioned that it was going to be starting to do johto crates that's right this is the first official johto crate i'm really excited to see what we have in this month's box so let's go ahead and get it open here and see what we have in this crate all right, so first and foremost, Top Deck Crate says, Greetings from Violet City. Enjoy your Zephyr badge, which is right up here. Nice little pin there. Uh, you have chosen your, or tell us which chart, which, the, all right, I'll get it right eventually. Tell us which starter you have chosen for your journey through Johto. Follow us at Top Deck Crates on Facebook and Instagram to have a chance to win this month's contest and Ultimate Guard a 100 plus flipping tray along with four packs of Shining Legends. Good luck on your travels and see you at Azalea Town, TDC. So this is the first Johto postcard, as you can see there. Now, there is actually an ongoing thing on my Instagram, which is at the Pokemon Evolutionaries, where there's a picture of last uh, the last um, postcard that we have here. If you guys like that and follow us and Top Deck Crates, it gets you another opportunity to win in this contest as well. So that's really neat. But there is your first badge, the Zephyr badge. And we have an example of what you might have a chance to win here, but this is a little bit smaller. Not exactly the same thing, but this is an Ultimate Guard case here. This is the Boulder Deck Case 80 Plus. This is really, really strong. We have shown these before. As you guys know, we're also partnered up with Ultimate Guard for all of our uh, deck boxes and sleeves. Ultimate Guard has a Boulder Deck Case here. This thing is really, really tough. I like it a lot for that reason. We have another one as well. We have got a blue one that uh, I have sitting on my desk over there. Just can't reach it at the moment. But this is a very tough deck box. I mean, nothing's gonna happen to your cards inside for sure. And it opens like that. It splits right in half in a diagonal fashion. And it stores up to 80 cards in there. Double sleeved, by the way, 80 double sleeved cards. So really, really great product. I've always been very a very strong believer in Ultimate Guard stuff. Um, I was using it far before they ever even reached out, or I, sh I should say I reached out to them about their products. So uh, very honored to be able to represent Ultimate Guard in that fashion because they've got such great products. I really do like them a lot, but it comes with one of those. So you get an opportunity to see one for yourself right up in person. And you're also helping a very awesome company here as well with Top Deck Crates. So we got some packs which we'll save for last. As usual, oh, these are cool. Oh man, we got some neat stuff in here this month. That should be everything, so we're gonna set this box aside. We also have some sleeves, but we also have, look at this. Oh man, <laughs> we got Totodile, we got Syndic, or we got um, Syndical down here, my mistake, and we got Chikorita. So all three of the Johto starters, very, very cool. Um, I don't know who specifically made these, but it seems like they come with the crates, so that's pretty awesome. They, they're nice little keychains. A little bit on the large side if you're going to attach it to your key ring, but if you don't care about that, then hey, that's awesome. I like them just for the way they look, so I'll probably just put these in with my collectible figures and things like that, just for the heck of it. But these are really neat. I like these a lot. I used to do art like this with these little beads, these perler beads, but I wasn't very good at it, and this is done really well. Like, this is, looks like... They didn't even melt them, it's so good. Usually the bottom parts are melted so you can't see all the way through them, but this is like professional level stuff here. So whoever made these, great job on that for sure. Also in here we've got 80 packs of the Promat Eclipse Sleeves. Now again, even though I am partnered up with Ultimate Guard, I do have to say Ultra Pro did a very, very good job with these Promat Eclipse Sleeves. Eclipse Sleeves are my second most favorite sleeves. Um, there's 80 of them in this package here. And I noticed that Walmart started selling them as well, which is kind of neat because they're a little bit more accessible that way. But uh, Promat uh, Eclipse Sleeves are very, very nice as well. So definitely not a bad choice whatsoever. So it comes with these, not too bad. You got a deck box, you got sleeves, you got the Perler figures, and you get four packs. Oh, we get some Ultra Prism. Yes. Guardians Rising. Yes. And Crimson Invasion. Eh. 
<laughs> we all know that Crimson Invasion, unfortunately, was a bit of a flop, but that's okay. We've got three other awesome packs in here, a chance at a Tapu Lele, and also all the awesome cards in Sun and Moon Ultra Prism to boot. Not bad. All right, well, let's get this one out of the way because we all know that Crimson Invasion is a little bit more of a disappointing set as far as collectors and players go. A couple cards did good, a couple good cards did come from it, but however, the problem is is that they made those good cards into promos, so it kind of defeated the purpose. But anyways, we've got a Jigglypuff, a Houndour, Pikachu, the old Derpachu, Skidoo, we got a Starly, Miltank, Sea of Nothingness, Counter Energy, Reverse Hollow, Meme Fish, Phoebus, and a Starmie Regular Rare. So, nothing out of that pack, but that's okay. I'd rather save the good stuff. For the remaining three packs we have left, Guardians Rising and Ultra Prism. Let's go! Guardians Rising up next. We're going to save the two packs Ultra Prism for last. We got three, one, and two. All right, come on, Guardians Rising. Give us something good. We got a Murkrow. We got an Alolan Sandshrew, the Dabbing Machop, Chansey, Snorunt in the freezer. <laughs> I never noticed that before. How did I not notice that Snorunt was just chilling in the in? Well, no, it's in, there's one in the freezer and there's one in the fridge. So technically, I wasn't wrong, but that's pretty neat. <laughs> I don't know. It's just cute. Max Potion, Pseudo Widow, Rescue Stretcher, Glycopod, Reverse Hollow Rare, and a Victory Bell, Non Hollow Rare. All right, that does it for Guardians Rising. Let's see what we can get out of Ultra Prism. Actually, Leafeon is my favorite Pokemon in this set. So I'm going to have to leave its pack for last, I think, and hope for the best. We got a Darkness Energy over there, Fairy Energy, and we had another one as well. I don't know which one it was from the other pack. But we're going to start off here with Cherubi, Glammeow, Snover, Hippopotas, Shinx with Evolutionary Advantage, Looker, Yanmega, Palpad, Reverse Hollow is another rare, a Lolan Exeggutor, and a Fan Rotom regular rare. So two reverse rares, but we only got one pack left. Let's hope that Leafeon doesn't let us down. Come on, Leafeon, come through for us. Give us something good. Let's just hope for the best. All right, three, one. We got a Psychic Energy this time. And for this pack, we've got Riolu to go along with our Lucario Garchomp deck, a Lolan Diglett, Piplup, Salandit, Passimian, Oranguru. Yeah, Oranguru. <laughs> Looker Whistle, Floatzel, Reverse Hollow Rare Magnazone, which is actually a very playable Reverse Hollow Rare for the Metal decks, being able to accelerate uh, Metal Energy from our hand to our Pokemon as often as we like. And a Drapion Non Hollow Rare. Wah, wah, wah. All right, so we didn't get anything outstandingly good out of the packs, but we did get three reverse hollow rares, one of them being quite playable, another one being situational, and the other one probably not going to see any uh, any play anytime soon, maybe one day, but a little executor just doesn't cut it for now. But I will be putting this one up here in my playable card pile for sure. It is already there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this month's Top Deck Crate. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this service. If you do, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. If you've ordered one before, let everyone else down below know what you think of the product because, you know, obviously we want to get as many objectionable opinions as we can. And you guys love it? Do you guys think it's mad? Do you, do, you, do you hate it? I mean, I'm curious to know what you guys think down below. We really like to see where you guys stand with videos like this. It's a product that we really enjoy, but at the same time, I want to know if you guys are enjoying it as well. If you think everything's fair about it, whatever the case is, I would love to be able to provide feedback to the people over at Top Deck Crates and help them improve their product, if at all possible, just because it's so cool. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content, and we will see you guys tomorrow with another Father and Sunday video. So until then, you guys take care and have a great day.